Smarter Grilling is sharing a great meal. It's about having a good time with family and friends. Charbroil's True Infrared patented technology allows you to grill with confidence, knowing that your meals will be perfectly cooked or grilled, juicy and packed with flavor. How does True Infrared take your grilling from good to great? It starts by producing an intensely hot heat that is evenly distributed across the cooking grate. The True Infrared cooking system sits above the gas, coal, or electric source and generates infrared heat that is quickly and efficiently transferred, heating the entire cooking surface with no hot or cold spots, which means less prep time for you. With a traditional grill, you lose much of the energy source and your grill is actually heating the air. This is not only inefficient, it dries out your food. True infrared heat is sent directly to your food. Less air is circulated and your food retains more moisture during cooking. The True Infrared cooking system sears food quickly, locking in juices for tender, juicier food with a charbroiled flavor. Cooking with True Infrared ensures your meals are 50% juicier than cooking with a traditional grill. True Infrared also means no flare-ups, and that means no charred food. Our patented grate design restricts the airflow that can ignite food drippings and cause flare-ups. With the True Infrared cooking system, juices that drip are instantly vaporized, infusing a rich, smoky flavor back into your food. With less time managing the grill, you can make grilling an everyday activity, not just a weekend luxury. The True Infrared technology allows you to enjoy the sizzle of grilling any day of the week and the assurance that the meals you grill will be juicy and delicious every time. George Foreman, the number one brand in grilling just got bigger. With over 240 square inches of cooking surface, the George Foreman Indoor-Outdoor Grill can handle up to 15 servings at once. And it has all the classic features you've come to love in a George Foreman grill. The George Tough Non-Stick Coating makes everything manageable. Signature Foreman heating elements deliver even heat from the center to the sides of the grill. The included removable stand allows for the complete grilling experience indoors or out. And with a removable grill plate, cleanup is beyond simple. The George Foreman Indoor Outdoor Grill, now serving your party of 15. Hi, I'm Kara for Hamilton Beach, and this is the Searing Grill. Some of the best summer foods come off the grill, from perfectly seared vegetables to juicy burgers. These delicious foods are the hallmark of barbecues, pool parties, and other warm weather gatherings. With the Searing Grill, you can bring summer indoors anytime you want, all year long. The high 450 degree temperature locks in juices and flavor so your meals will taste fresh and look fabulous. The 118 square inch cooking surface is plenty of room for preparing a meal for friends or family. The adjustable temperature control means you can customize recipes just the way you like them. Plus, the hood, nonstick plate, and drip tray are dishwasher safe, making great food even more convenient for our busy lives. The Searing Grill from Hamilton Beach. Now that's good thinking. Cuisinart Griddler Deluxe and it has lots of added new features and I'm going to show them to you now. First and foremost, it's a more generous size. It has, like our other Griddler, removable dishwasher and reversible plates. So you can actually grill, you can griddle, you can also um, use it as a panini press. I'm going to show you the other thing that you can do with this is you open it all the way and it can become an open wide grill and then if you use the flat plates an open wide griddle the other great thing about it now is it has a sear blast feature and the sear blast actually is in the front here and you use it by pressing these buttons you can actually do an upper plate you can do a lower plate or you can use both plates that's another added feature too is that each plate 
can cook at different temperatures at the same exact time, or you can put them on the same temperature if you prefer. The other great thing is you can now do top browning, and I'm gonna show you a recipe where we do that, where it actually can melt cheese and um, you can see how that works. This is actually a slide. You slide this and the um, lid actually floats above the food. So if you're gonna put something in there and melt cheese on, it's not actually touching the food, but it's actually heating from above. So I'm gonna just flip this back. And now what we're gonna do is turn the unit on. And I'm gonna use it in the contact grill position. So we're gonna set it on 450. The unit goes from warm all the way up to 450. And we're gonna close the plates. And while that's heating, I'm actually gonna to talk to you a little bit more about the griddler. So over here, I'm gonna slide this out so you can see it. This is your removable drip tray. It's very generous. Slide that back in. In the back, it also has a cord wrap. And like I said, it's beautifully constructed. It's a really smart design where this handle then becomes the leg. And I mentioned that it has six positions. And in those positions, you can do anything like cook bone and meat, you can make juicy burgers, you can make crisp bacon, you can do in the morning if you have um, people over on a Sunday, you can do French toast on one side on the griddle, and on the other side on the grill portion, you could do breakfast sausage or even bacon. It's extremely versatile, and you can use it to cook a lot of food at one time. The other thing we like to say about the griddler is that it can be used for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It can really take you through the whole day for your cooking. So the other thing I like to use the griddler for, and this is a, a lot of fun to do, is when I do um, parties or entertaining, my nephews like to make little mini panini sandwiches. And what I do is I kind of get everybody involved, I have all the ingredients there, and they assemble the sandwiches and we cook them together. Kind of gives me a hand in the kitchen too. So now that our griddler is almost heated, the lights are going to turn green, and when they do, we're going to come back and start cooking. So now our unit is up to temperature, and as I mentioned, the lights turn green on the front. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our bread and we're gonna toast it. And um, what we're gonna do is just put it on there. We basted a little bit of olive oil on it, and we um, are going to just place them down. I'm gonna close the griddler in the contact position, and they're gonna toast up nice and crispy pretty quick. So we're gonna close it. And then we're going to come back in a few minutes and check on it. So let's check on our bread. See how nice and um, toasted it got and it got some beautiful grill marks. What we're going to do now is turn the lower plate down to warm just by twisting this to the warm button. If we turn it all the way, it'll go off, but we want it right on warm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave the upper plate on 450. And now I'm going to add some cheese. I'm actually just gonna use my fingers for this. We're gonna put a little bit of cheese on each one. And then um, what we're gonna do, this is a really great appetizer to make. Um, what you do is just sprinkle a little cheese. You could also actually put tomatoes on this first and then the cheese if you prefer. Um, the other thing that's great with this next feature I'm going to show you is that you can actually do um, a grilled pizza in the same position. I actually was a little too generous with some of the earlier ones, so these aren't going to have that much cheese on them. But So now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the top. Remember we left it on 450? I'm just going to slide that so that it's just above the actual um, bread. And now I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes and come back and check and it should be all melted and nice and gooey. So let's open it and see if our cheese melted. Oh, look how nice that is. It looks really nice and appetizing. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove it, put it on the plate here. Now what you can do now, if you prefer, you can eat it just like this. Maybe you wanna add a little bit of herbs or maybe a little piece of basil if you prefer. And what I'm going to do is just show you how I would do it myself, which is I'm going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of tomatoes on the top to make it look really pretty. And like I said, you can do, you know, anything that you want with this. Put a little bit on top. This is um, a bruschetta recipe. It comes right in the um, IB. Just some 
little pieces of cherry tomatoes and some basil and some olive oil and garlic. It's really tasty. Sometimes when my nephews come over, they don't like basil. <laughs>